Hello, my fellow Mavericks. My name is Javen Moore, and I am your outgoing student body president and student regent. It is an honor to be with you all today to share in your moment and to help celebrate in your amazing accomplishments. As Mavericks, we pride ourselves on the values of excellence, engagement, inclusion, discovery, and integrity. These values that we share teach us what it means to be a true Maverick. And through your hard work, you displayed true Maverick spirit, exemplifying strength, resilience, curiosity, independent thinking, and entrepreneurism in your everyday deeds and collective endeavors. It is not lost on me that we are living in a time that no one could have imagined. With the global pandemic, the economic crisis, and the civil unrest that has caused our nation to realize and address challenges that have been developing for a very long time. In this, we face many of the same challenges and disparate impacts and outcomes. But today we celebrate that whatever life threw at you, you prevailed. Your hard work deserves to be celebrated under any circumstances. But what makes this moment extra special is that through perseverance, dedication, and determination, you have managed to excel in one of the toughest times in our nation's history. As you reflect on your accomplishments, remember what it means to be a maverick. You are here to be different, to make noise, to challenge the norms, and to positively impact the world around you. You weren't born to fit in. You were born to stand out and to make a difference. Congratulations on a job well done, and I know you will continue to make the Maverick community proud. Hello students. I am so honored to speak to you today and to join you along with your family and friends in celebrating your incredible accomplishments. As president of the UNO Staff Advisory Council, I work with staff across the university, including those you might know well, like your advisor, financial support coordinator, or that campus security officer who always says hello as you walk to class, to the staff you may not see as often who work in more administrative roles, such as processing your application, supporting HR, or managing our IT. But no matter the role, every single staff member I have met is proud to work at UNO because of you, our students. So it is truly on behalf of all of the staff that I share my congratulations with you today. Not only have you achieved the remarkable feats that will be discussed shortly, but you have done so in a time of unprecedented social, economic, and public health challenges. Know that the skills and knowledge you have gained in the path to these accomplishments will continue to serve you well as you tackle whatever mountains it is you choose to climb next. And know that all of UNO will be cheering for you. I know finals are still coming up and it's so easy just to focus on what's next, but at least for tonight, take a breath, pause, and celebrate. You deserve it. And now I would like to introduce to you my friend and the current UNO Faculty Senate President, Dr. Elliot Osler. Hello and welcome to the 2021 University of Nebraska at Omaha Student Honors Convocation. My name is Elliot Osler, and I'm the president of the UNO Faculty Senate. As I look back over the past year, I am constantly reminded, as I know many of you are, of the challenges we've tackled as a campus and as a community because of our unique place in history and how we've managed to adjust to the new versions of normal. And though we've hit plenty of bumps along the way, we've also triumphed in many ways. For example, as an institution, we've made plenty of calculated adjustments and enjoyed significant progress really because of those actions, and in a time when many other campuses were trying to ride out the storm or to, in a word, survive. And yet, to celebrate our own successes in difficult times still feels a bit hollow or vacant because there's a critical component missing in that equation, the success of you, the students. Of all that happens at UNO, your successes are what impress us the most. You inspire us endlessly, and in many ways help us to know more about ourselves. Over the past year, you've set a fast pace for yourselves, worked, maybe taken care of family members and friends, studied like crazy, written papers, completed labs, 
then possibly took a breath during an all too short spring break, and then back at it again without missing a step. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I stand in awe of all you do and quietly think to myself, man, I'm glad I don't have to compete with these people. I wouldn't have the energy. But you do, and it's that energy that has not only allowed you to emerge from a year of pandemic conditions, but to have achieved masterfully during that time. So we gather together today, and as much as it's possible in this form, to acknowledge your efforts and celebrate successes that are not only a recognition of your accomplishments here at UNO, but a statement of all you intend to accomplish as you move into the next phase of your journey. To all of you, congratulations. I hope you enjoy the ceremony today. With that, it is my honor to introduce UNO's Senior Vice Chancellor of Academic Affairs, Dr. Sasha Kopp. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Sasha Kopp, and I am the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs. I want to thank you for joining us virtually for the annual University of Nebraska at Omaha's Student Honors Convocation. For 113 years, UNO has served as an access point for excellence in higher education. Today, we pride ourselves on being a premier metropolitan university, relentlessly dedicated to our mission of being student-centered, academically excellent, and engaged with our community and our world. We are a community of mavericks, independent thinkers, explorers, risk takers, and today we honor those students who truly embody this spirit. The students we honor today perform at a noteworthy level of excellence because of their self-discipline, diligence, skills, and creativity. We are confident that they will continue to push the boundaries and strive for success in all that they do. Before we begin the award presentations, I would like to give a big thanks to those who served as mentors to the students being recognized this afternoon. Students, please also take time today to thank your family, friends, faculty, staff, and other supporters who made it possible for you to accomplish the work for which you're being recognized today. Now it is my pleasure to introduce UNO's Chancellor, Dr. Jeffrey P. Gold. Dr. Gold took on leadership of the university in May of 2017, in addition to his responsibilities serving as Chancellor of the University of Nebraska Medical Center and chairing the board of UNMC's Principal Clinical Care System Partner, Nebraska Medicine. With both deep knowledge and broad experience in higher education and healthcare, Dr. Gold is a tireless advocate for advancing UNO's mission of access, excellence, education, and service to our community. Chancellor Gold will now give the official welcome and congratulations to students. Good afternoon. We are so glad that we're able to host this event during these unprecedented times to recognize some of UNO's best and brightest. Our students' dedication to their studies, to community service, student organizations, or athletic endeavors are remarkable to watch, as we will hear today. They are accomplishing incredible things. I know that these students are where they are today in part because of the diligence and guidance of their support networks. Their family, friends, their faculty, staff, and advisors all share in the joy of their honorees' successes. I want to thank all of those individuals to the support that they have provided to all of our students and these students who we're honoring today and throughout the years. Students, you would not be here today without dedication and determination during your time here at UNO. Out of over 15,000 students, you earned your place here at the Student Honors Convocation. Take that as a true testament to your abilities, your hard work, and your commitment to success. Congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you for being part of the Maverick family. And now, let's present the first award. Hello, I'm Deborah Smith Howell, Associate Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs and Dean for Graduate Studies. It is my privilege to present the Helen Hansen Outstanding Graduate Student Awards. 
Helen Hansen Outstanding Graduate Student recipients are selected from a pool of the outstanding graduate students from our 45 plus master's and doctoral programs. Each program may nominate one exemplar student and then a selection committee from the UNO Graduate Council chooses a master's and doctoral recipient for the annual awards. So the recipients today represent the very best of a truly impressive group of graduate students. It is my great honor on behalf of the UNO Graduate Council to present today's Helen Hansen Awards to two very distinguished graduate students. Our first recipient is Elizabeth Liz Picas, a PhD student in exercise science with a concentration in physiology of exercise. Liz has established an impressive record in her graduate studies, first in her master's program at UNO and now as a doctoral student. Her nominators detailed her accomplishments as a scholar, teacher, and colleague. Specifically, she has been exemplary for her scholarly activity at UNO. She has produced 14 peer-reviewed publications, including three first author publications, and received the top honor of APS Select from the American Physiological Society for one of her publications in the Journal of Applied Physiology. She has also received several presentation awards, including first place at UNO Research and Create Creative Activity Fair, second place at the Midlands Physiological Society, and was selected to represent UNO at the International Student Research Forum this past year. As a teaching assistant, she was and, is, and still is an invaluable resource for students. In labs, demonstrations, and class lectures, her combination of experience in different domains of kinesiology, for example, personal training, strength and conditioning, and group exercise, and research has allowed her to incorporate real-world concepts and applications to traditional classroom work. She has also been active in seeking support and funding for her work and has received uh, awards from the UNO Summer Graduate Scholarship, Competitive Graduate Fellowship, as well as GRACA. She's also received travel awards from the College of Education and the Office of Graduate Studies, as well as NASA Nebraska Space Grants. Besides her research and academic interests, she has worked as a volunteer with Omaha Public Schools at Burke High School, giving clarinet lessons and instruction, and she helps at UNO and other gyms as a volunteer powerlifting referee. It is my honor on behalf of the Graduate Council to present this 2021 Helen Hansen Outstanding Graduate Student Award to Elizabeth Picas. Congratulations. Our second recipient is Bridget Lillithorpe, a master's student in English. Her nominators enthusiastically described her as a gifted, versatile writer dedicated to publishing her work and building her literary career. She is also characterized as being keenly intelligent with a rigorous work ethic and a fierce passion for writing and the life of the mind. Her unique style and use of multiple modalities, including visual elements such as graphics, postcards, animations, and more to develop each essay's thesis are distinguishing features of her work. Bridget's nominating and supporting letters were written by truly gifted writers themselves and included powerful examples of how Bridget approaches her writing as well as vivid examples from her essays. Unfortunately, I don't have either the time or talent to do justice to those uh, excerpts in today's ceremony. I encourage you to watch for her published work. I know I will be. Bridget is well on her way to establishing herself in the literary world. She has publications in or forthcoming in five literary journals, including River Teeth, a well-respected journal of creative nonfiction. She is also currently vlog editor for Literary Mama, another notable literary journal. It is my great honor on behalf of the graduate faculty to present a 2021 Helen Hansen Award to Bridget Lillithorpe from the Department of English. We would also like to recognize several exceptional students who have been working towards attaining prestigious national scholarships. Our Office of National Scholarships and Fellowships works with students who wish to apply for nationally competitive scholarships, and we have many such students here on campus. Patrick Hodson, a graduate of the College of Business Administration and University Honors Program in December of 2019, was awarded a Fulbright to Kosovo for 2020-21, 
Unfortunately, COVID-19 prevented his tra travel. Patrick is also awarded the Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange for Young Professional Fellowship for 2020-21, as were Kathy Nguyen and Mikey Thompson. Aya Youssef, a May 2021 University Honors Program graduate from the College of Arts and Sciences with degrees in both political science and economics, was offered a Charles B. Rangel Graduate Fellowship in the amount of $42,000 annually for two years. Annabelle Abisset graduating in May of 2021 with their master's degree in public administration has been awarded an English teaching assistant position to Argentina by Fulbright for the 2021-22 academic year. And finally, the Barry M. Goldwater Scholarship is one of the oldest and most prestigious national scholarships in the national sciences, engineering, and mathematics, and is only offered to 396 students each year. Sarah Al-Suleiman is a deserving candidate of this scholarship and the only recipient from Nebraska. Congratulations to all of these students on this remarkable accomplishment. Hello, my name is Dr. Jonathan Benjamin Alvarado, and I am the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Student Success. I have the privilege of recognizing the undergraduate major awards. These honorees were selected by departments in which they are majoring. Students must have a minimum cumulative grade point average of 3.33 and are selected on the basis of academic achievement and contributions to the university and the community. We will begin with the College of Arts and Sciences. Josiah Akri, Caleb Ball, Brooke Beckius, Cassidy Brocale, Julia Cormack, Megan Sherwinski, William Dans, Brady Dodds, Brooklyn Laramore, Leanna Lu, Guadalupe Najera, Josie Nelson, Prunav Oja, Graham Pichel, Kaya Phelps, Matt Pyle, Luis Rodriguez, Elias Smith, Jimmy Wood, Aya Youssef. In the College of Education, Health, and Human Sciences, Cody Anderson, Caitlin Bartholomew, Brooke Berube, Hannah Buswell, Carla Carlson, Kennedy Hughes, Gina Jensen, Andrea Lopez, Ana Ortiz, Colton Schnack, Matt Speaker, Elise Thompson, Tatum Van Kooten. In the College of Business Administration, Ashley Cato, Emily Coleman, Haley Faltine, Abigail Gevick, Justin Krug, Will Major, Yumika Matsushita, Samuel McDermott, Katie Moragas, Keegan Olson, Erica Pokorny, Faith Prismas, Haley Tierra, Austin Michael Voitman. In the College of Public Affairs and Community Service, Maddie Daly, Spencer Leaders, Lainey Martineau, Bridget Moynihan, Travis Nelson, Alexander Wynn, Scott Nugent. Also in the College of Public Affairs and Community Services, Division of Continuing Studies, Sarah Liacidi, Samantha Salvatore, Benjamin 
Thornburg. Next, the College of Information Science and Technology. Caitlin Bisa, Andrew Bullock, Grace Maline, Kyle T. Phipps, Usama Talha. In the College of Communication, Fine Arts and Media, Nora Jean Baker, Joshua Holke, Nicholas A. Jansen, Caitlin Kratke, William Kunkel, Catherine Lopez Chavez, Sierra Osentowski, Aurora Pilakai, Hannah Rembert, Shelby Rowe, Isabella Sacklar. And finally, the UNL College of Engineering, Joe Embury, Morgan Gallagher, Ethan Hall, Eric Jones, Benjamin Schnatz, Kaylee Tobiason. Congratulations to all of you. The Dean's Award recipients are selected from among the undergraduate major honorees we have just named. These students reflect a combination of outstanding scholastic achievement and leadership on campus and in the community. Each Dean will make remarks regarding the student from their college. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. David Booker from the College of Arts and Sciences. I am proud to announce that the recipient of this year's College of Arts and Sciences Dean's Award is Aya Youssef. Aya is our, Aya is our college's most accomplished student among a group of truly outstanding students being recognized by our colleges and departments and programs. She is earning a double major in political science and economics and exemplifies the type of community engaged scholar and leader our university strives to produce. Like all students being recognized in this ceremony, Aya has an outstanding academic record and what is especially notable are her achievements in the area of public service. Aya served as student government, student body president, student regent with distinction. She served as a clerk at the Douglas County Public Defender's Office where she provided over 25 Arabic to English translations during client meetings and helped refugees understand the legal system by bridging cultures. Aya interned at an area law firm where she researched over 50 cases related to the Americans with Disabilities Act and served as a policy, re policy research intern in the unicameral for State Senator Tony Vargas. Finally, she combined her public service in the critical area of security research in UNO's IC Scholars Program, representing UNO as the inaugural Chuck Hagel Fellow at the University of Chicago Project on Security and Threats, and is working as a student researcher in UNO's Counterterrorism Center, or INSIGHT. Aya is a Goodrich Scholar and has been awarded the prestigious Charles Rangel Department of State Fellowship for Graduate Studies. She plans to become an international human rights lawyer and her own experiences as a refugee inform her expansive compassion, especially for young and displaced people. Aya Youssef is a model student and citizen, and we can all be proud that the future of our great country and international relations will benefit from her leadership and service. On behalf of the College of Arts and Sciences, congratulations on your achievements and best wishes. Hello, I'm Nancy Edick, Dean of the College of Education, Health, and Human Sciences. It's my pleasure to honor Colton Schnack as our Dean's Award winner. Colton graduated in December with a Bachelor of Science in Education, Sign Language Interpreter Concentration. Colton is an outstanding representative of the Sign Language Interpreter Program, graduating summa cum laude with a 3.99 GPA. He's described by his professors as passionate, curious, and professional. And through his service and volunteer work, Colton demonstrated leadership skill, and has worked to continue to evaluate the professionalism of the field. As a University Honors Program student, Colton presented a capstone project at the Honors Program Symposium. He researched how social isolation, anxiety, and stress 
affect sign language interpreters working remotely. Colton's research was fresh and relevant and contributed to his future field, helping to highlight the issue of interpreter mental health during the pandemic. While at UNO, Colton mentored new sign language interpreter students. He provided interpreting services to the Rose Theater and also to the UNO Theater. And he contributed to meetings of the Nebraska Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. It's a statewide agency devoted to advocacy. Colton served as president of UNO's student organization, Allies for Sign Language, for two years. As president, Colton moved Allies to a more interactive format through events like meet and greets, mock interpreting symposiums, and casual sign and dines at local restaurants. These events encouraged in-depth involvement and interaction between UNO students, the deaf community, and professional interpreters. Through Colton's leadership, Allies was recognized with a 2020 UNO Student Organization Award for outstanding commitment to service. We are so proud to recognize Colton as alumnus and as our Dean's Award winner. Colton has worked to provide critical service to the community and gain respect of the deaf community, all while displaying the highest level of professionalism. So on behalf of the College of Education, Health and Human Sciences, congratulations, Colton. Hi, I'm Michelle Trawick. Dean of the College of Business Administration. It is my pleasure to introduce our Dean's Award recipient, Katie Moragas. Katie, a first-generation college student from Omaha, is a Goodrich Scholar completing her concentration in management. She was nominated by Dr. Aaron Bass, who shared that Katie is articulate, professional, and dependable. All of those attributes serve her well as an outstanding student but also in her Human Resources Internship with the United States Strategic Command. In 2020, U.S. STRATCOM named Katie as the Civilian Technician of the Year based on her hard work, dedication, and excellence to succeed. She has been recognized for encouraging and training new, higher-ranking members of her Civilian Force Management Team, which means we are not surprised to learn that she has been offered a permanent position with them following her graduation in May. Katie is very family oriented and enjoys spending time with her young niece and nephew. She is also passionate about being a small business owner and has started reselling clothes online, which meets multiple socially desirable outcomes, including the reduction of discarded clothing going into landfills. It's so exciting to see our students be innovative with their passions. Katie, on behalf of the wonderful faculty and staff of the College of Business Administration, Congratulations. Good afternoon. My name is John Bartle from the College of Public Affairs and Community Service. Madeline Marie Daly is the winner of the 2021 Dean's Award for the College of Public Affairs and Community Service. She has a 3.97 grade point average, is a gerontology major with a concentration in administration, and a BS in business administration with a concentration in management. She has been on the Dean's List in each of her seven semesters and on the Chancellor's List for four semesters. On campus, she serves as a Departmental Ambassador for the Gerontology Department, is a member of the Thompson Learning Community, and also two honorary societies. In addition to her outstanding academic work, Ms. Daly has worked at the Newcastle Retirement Center since she was 15 years old. As a life enrichment assistant, she increased the profit for the gift shop by 22% by improving advertising and reducing expenses, drawing on ideas from the residents of the home. Before the pandemic popularized the idea, she organized an international pen pal program connecting the residents to a third grade class. She also reorganized a volunteer program while serving as interim volunteer coordinator. In addition to school and her job, she is a volunteer at the Josie Harper Hospice House, helping people in their last days. Her goal is to pursue a PhD in gerontology and be a CEO at an assisted living community. She is an outstanding student, but more important, a compassionate person of high integrity. She is an outstanding representative of CPACs, and we are very proud of her. Also from the College of Public Affairs and Community Service, 
Samantha Salvatore is the winner of the Dean's Award from the Division of Continuing Studies. Samantha graduated in December with a Bachelor's of Multidisciplinary Studies degree in Political Science and a minor in Nonprofit Management. While her path has not been linear, since her return to UNO in 2018, she earned a 4.0 GPA for 69 credit hours, 42 of which were A-pluses, putting her on the Chancellor's List every semester. Samantha is deeply involved in the community and has a passion for public service. She has been successful in fundraising for the Madonna Foundation, Lutheran Family Services, and now the Nebraska Humane Society. She is involved in the issues of immigration and refugees and has volunteered extensively to tutor and advocate for refugees in South Omaha. This led to an internship last year with the U.S. Department of State. What is most remarkable is that Ms. Salvatore has often worked two or three jobs or internships at the same time while maintaining a four full course load and getting straight A's, and also volunteering with two or more organizations. Her devotion to our community and to those less fortunate truly embodies the Maverick spirit. We are proud to recognize Samantha as this year's Outstanding Student of the Division of Continuing Studies. Hello, my name is Hisham Ali, and I have the distinct honor of serving as the Dean of the College of Information Science and Technology at UNO. It's my great pleasure to recognize Caitlin Besa as the College Outstanding Student for the 2020-21 academic year. An IT innovation major and Spanish minor, with an outstanding 3.99 GPA, Caitlin is a graduate of Marion High School and expected to graduate in May of 2021. Caitlin is a Walter Scott Jr. Scholarship recipient, a Regents Scholarship recipient, UNO Honors Program student, a member of the Honors Society of Pi Kappa Pi, and a member of the National Collegiate Hispanic Honor Society of Sigma Delta Pi. Caitlin is already taking graduate courses. She's already started her master's in IT innovation through the College Fast Track 4 Plus 1 integrated program. She's well on her way to complete her graduate degree by summer of 2022. Caitlin recently received the first place award in the UNO Big Idea Pitch Competition. She received the award for her IT innovation capstone project called Activate. She, pro she proposed Activate as a nonprofit educational resource for Spanish speaking students in elementary schools to assist students in learning the basics of computing and information technology. Her goal with this innovative project was to help diversify the technology field by developing websites and other resources that offers learning modules in Spanish as well as English. Her mission is to empower Spanish speaking students by activating learning, creativity and confidence in the next generation of technologists. As an undergraduate student, Caitlin worked as a research assistant for Dr. Maggie Hall and was responsible for testing different online computer science modules for the best methods of teaching. She also developed new methods for teaching computer science topics and designed an online course prototype system. Now, as a graduate student, Caitlin is currently a research assistant in Dr. Ann Fruling's biomedical informatics lab. She's working on the development of new approaches for health monitoring devices for firefighters. Technically speaking, she's leading the team's transition from waterfall technology to the popular agile methodology and is developing a web application for monitoring the vitals of firefighters. In addition to her academic endeavors, Caitlin worked as a year-round IT intern at Union Pacific in the finance department. At UP, she worked on developing a user interface using the AngularJS technology to rewrite an outdated system. For this project, 
she had to learn new systems, develop new skills, and explore unfamiliar technology. So now you see a pattern here. She always seems to be involved in projects that deal with enhancing old legacy systems and help companies and labs to move towards better and more modern technologies. No wonder she is the top IT innovation student in our college this year. During COVID-19, Caitlin joined TD Ameritrade as a software engineering intern through summer and fall of 2020 at Ameritrade. She again developed a new data visualization tool, uh, in this case for in-house data analytics purposes. Finally, over her undergraduate career, Caitlin has found time in her busy academic and work schedule to engage in a variety of service activities. She has been involved as a participant and leader in the Scott Scholar Community of Equality Inclusivity Program, IT Innovation Collaborative Student Club, Greek Life, Chi Omega Sorority and Zeta Delta Chapter, and a volunteer assistant girls basketball coach at St. Pius X San Leo Elementary School. Caitlin exemplifies academic excellence and represents the exciting, innovative aspects of information technology. In acknowledging her incredible academic achievements, I'm pleased to recognize her as the outstanding student of our college this year. Congratulations, Caitlin. Hello, I'm Michael Hilt, Dean of the College of Communication, Fine Arts, and the Media, CFAM, as it is known on campus. It's my pleasure to honor Aurora Ori Pilochet with the CFAM Dean's Award. Ori's academic record, involvement with professional development, and engagement in campus activities make her a worthy candidate for this honor. Ori received her Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Creative Writing in December 2020. Writer's Workshop professor Anna Minardo notes that Ori was somewhat of a non-traditional student when she arrived on campus. Though she was the typical age for an entering freshman, she had already completed an associate's degree from Iowa Western Community College. More significantly, she had lived a broad range of life experiences and, with a keen eye, had traveled extensively. Ori brought to every writing assignment extraordinary details and a level of insight that went beyond what one expects from an undergraduate student. Her work has been judged of the highest quality by the UNO faculty. Her essay, Stolen Bread, was nominated for the 2020 Association of Writers and Writing Programs Intro Journals Project, a national competition of the best writing by students in graduate and undergraduate creative writing programs. Her screenplay, Mara Marago, received a public reading at the Bookworm Bookstore in December 2019 as part of the New Voices Reading Series, which showcases the best student writing in UNO's Writer's Workshop and Creighton University's English Department. Writer's Workshop faculty are unanimous in stating that we will hear more from Ori as she continues to move through the world, bringing her keen observations to her remarkable screenplays, essays, short stories, and poems. It is evident that Ari has taken advantage of every opportunity that UNO has provided. Aurora Pilochet embodies the maverick spirit in academic excellence and her engagement both on and off campus. The CFAM Dean's Award recipient is Aurora Pilochet of Writer's Workshop in the School of the Arts. Congratulations, Ari. Remember all of us, students, faculty, and staff are part of the C family. We are strong. We are Omaha. We are Mavericks. Hello, my name is Lance Perez. As Dean of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln College of Engineering, I am pleased to recognize Dean's Award recipient, Morgan Elizabeth Gallagher. Morgan is graduating this spring with a bachelor's degree in computer engineering and minors in computer science, cybersecurity, and mathematics. She is hardworking and inquisitive and has distinguished herself academically in challenging disciplines. Outside of classes, she has served the college and UNO through mentoring of other students and as an active member in several student organizations. Morgan also interned at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers where she worked on cybersecurity for control systems. 
The faculty speak very highly of her and wholeheartedly supported her nomination for this award. Morgan, congratulations on this well-deserved honor. We will now present the Chancellor's Award for Academic Excellence. A committee chaired by the Senior Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs selects this student from the Dean's Award recipients from each of our colleges. These awards are earned by students whose extraordinary combination of scholastic achievement and leadership merit special recognition. This year, we have one student who is being honored, honored with the Chancellor's Award for Academic Excellence for her outstanding scholastic achievement on campus and in our community. This year, Samantha Jo Salvatore is the recipient of the Chancellor's Award for Academic Excellence. Dean Bartle has already highlighted Samantha's many accomplishments and for those reasons, it is my great pleasure to present her with this year's Chancellor's Award for Academic Excellence. Congratulations, Samantha. We will now present the Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Student Leadership. This award recognizes an undergraduate student who has demonstrated leadership through influential participation in campus organizations and in community volunteer work in addition to scholarly achievement. This year's award winner is Hannah Johnson. Hannah is completing her degree in the College of Public Affairs and Community Service Division of Continuing Studies. Today we honor her for more than just her maturity, responsibility, her ability to relate to others and personal insight, but for her commitment to her peers. She's not only represented UNO on the state level for National Student Speech, Language, and Hearing Association, but she has served in numerous on and off campus organizations in an important leadership role. In her additional time, she works as a research assistant at the Boys Town National Research Hospital Translational Auditory Physiology and Perception Laboratory. She focuses on conditional play audiometry and visual reinforced audiometry in young children. These skills are truly impressive, particularly for an undergraduate student. As you can see, not only is Hannah a very accomplished scholar, but leadership in the classroom and in the community service projects sets her truly apart from her peers. This is why she has gained the reputation by faculty and staff as always, quote, going the extra mile, unquote. Hannah will leave her mark on UNO by consistently identifying opportunities for student organizations to gain support and to find areas of continued growth. Hannah, thank you for your dedication to your classmates, to future Mavericks, and to the UNO campus, and more importantly, to the Omaha community. We are proud to present you with the distinguished honor of the 2021 UNO Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Student Leadership. Congratulations, Hannah. UNO's unique focus on forging partnerships between student, faculty, nonprofits, and government organizations has made us a nationally recognized leader in the area of community engagement. We are very proud to be among the top universities for service learning, for community service, and civic engagement initiatives in the United States. The Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Service Learning is presented each year to students who have lived that part of the UNO mission. This year's award winner is Jessica Lynn Woolley. Jessica is studying biology in the College of Arts and Sciences. Her passion for sciences and her positive energy was a natural fit for her work 
with the Nebraska Forest Service and Omaha Permaculture. It was there that she was able to find the importance of giving back to the community and the dedication needed for service learning. Jessica proved that she is a hard worker and devoted her service learning experience with her fellow classmates, which is evidenced by her ability to encourage thoughtful questions and excitement for any project that she's working on. Throughout the service learning opportunities in which she participated, Jessica has gained a wide variety of practical experience, supporting and serving with a number of community partners. Jessica, thank you for your dedication to both your classmates at UNO and the students that you serve in this community. We're proud to present you with this distinguished honor of the UNO's Chancellor Award for Outstanding Service Learning. Congratulations, Jessica. Our second awardee being presented the Chancellor's Award for Outstanding Service Learning is Rachel Lynn Call ross Rachel is completing her master's degree in speech language pathology. Her impressive leadership and relationship skills have led to the success of multiple service learning projects, which led to her nomination today. We honor her not only for her impressive leadership, her excellent interpersonal skills, and for her attention to detail, follow through on any given task, and her willingness to take on initiatives. Although all these factors were an influence, no doubt. But instead, we honor her mostly for her dedication to and participation in service learning projects throughout her academic career, one of which is the Autism Society of Nebraska. Currently, she leads monthly storing time and art activity at the Society. She also oversees the student volunteers, always exploring opportunities for them to grow. Rachel has been a true role model and leader to UNO students during her time with the Autism Society of Nebraska. And for the 2020 Fall Festival, she was given the title of Liaison. The Autism Society of Nebraska's mission is to improve the lives of every family affected by autism. This brings together her passion for working with students and education, and also advocating for all individuals on the autism spectrum within our community. All of this is just a snapshot of Rachel's hard work here at UNO. Rachel, thank you for all of your dedication to strengthening existing connections with a broad range of community partners and for preparing students to be engaged citizens and community leaders. We are so proud to present you with this distinguished honor. Congratulations, Rachel. We will now present the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Research or Creative Activity. This award recognizes a student who has demonstrated scholastic endeavors and achievements through a combination of outstanding research or creative activity. This year, Aya Zayad Youssef is the recipient of the Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Research and Creative Activity. Dean Booker has already highlighted Aya's many accomplishments, and for all of those reasons, it is my great pleasure to present her with this year's Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Research or Creative Activity. Aya, for all that you have done in this area, and of course, recognizing all of your service as a student regent, congratulations. Hello, Mavericks. My name is Trev Alberts, and I'm the Vice Chancellor for Athletic Leadership and Management. Every year, we select one male and one female winner of the Senior Scholar Athlete Award. During their careers at UNO, they've put together outstanding records of academic and athletic achievement, as well as made significant contributions to the university and our community. Our first award goes to Andrea Daves. Andrea is a four-year letter winner with the Omaha women's soccer team. 
She's appeared in more than 60 matches in her career. She's a three-time member of the Summit League Academic Honor Roll and was named to the Summit League Commissioner's List of Academic Excellence as a sophomore. Andrea is a passionate individual who's allowed those same passions to direct her service in the Omaha community. She's volunteered at UNMC and at South Omaha Medical Associates. She's worked as an animal caretaker in a lab here on campus and has spent time with youth across Omaha in various capacities. Andrea is driven to see success not only in her own life, but in the lives around her, which makes her desire to leave a mark even stronger. She clearly embodies all that it is to be a maverick student athlete, and we are pleased to honor her today. Congratulations, Andrea. Our next award goes to Matt Pyle. Matt is a four-year letter winner for the Omaha men's basketball team and a two-time academic All-American, earning third team honors in 2019 and first team recognition in 2020. The native of Wichita, Kansas was the 2020 Summit League Defensive Player of the Year, a two-time All-Summit League Honorable Mention pick, and a two-time academic All-Summit League selection. He ranks third all-time in program history for career rebounds and fourth for career blocks. He became Omaha's 42nd 1,000-point scorer in December of 2020. Outside of his commitment to basketball and academics, Matt volunteered twice a week in the emergency room at Nebraska Medicine and shadowed a physician in Wichita. He also served as a camp counselor for Omaha basketball summer camps and visited with local youth through an after-school program with the North Star Foundation. Matt has made UNO proud to call him a maverick, and we are certainly pleased to honor him today. Congratulations, Matt. As you see, an education at UNO molds outstanding learners, researchers, athletes, leaders, and civic servants. These students are perfect examples of what anyone can accomplish while gaining an education at UNO. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the achievements of these fine students at UNO's 2021 Student Honors Convocation. Honorees, we will be in contact with you regarding the procurement of your award. We hope that you and your family stay safe and healthy during this time. And again, thank you and congratulations.